coffee time. It's coffee time, folks. Can we talk? We've got stuff to talk about tonight. We're talking about one of our favorite meals. Spaghetti with fried chicken on it. We used to get it at Shawnee's. It was called Italian Feast, wasn't it? I think that's right. I tell you all that every time because I want to give credit where credit's due, but we're not sponsored for Shawnee's or nothing, but Mama's got some spaghetti here in the spaghetti pot. It's enough for three people and butter and salt. And, and water over And water. Now, Tupperware tells you not to do the butter or the salt, but we... Oh, it's sorry. ours and we do what we want to and it works out fine for us and it don't never problem a problem. That's it. And I'm doing onion for this meat. It's in this here pot. And we're making onion and meat, browning that up. And that's about a half a pound of meat. Now, I know some of y'all going to say, oh, that want to get me started. It's the same... It's the same ingredients no matter what you, um, well, here I'll, well, just hold on two seconds. It's the same ingredients no matter what amount you're working with. You just have to change your ingredient amounts as well. So to this, I'm going to put a little bit of this fancy steakhouse. This is good stuff. It's fancy steakhouse season from y'all's brand. We are sponsored by y'all's, but a little fancy steakhouse. Shakey, shake, shake, shake. And of course, I'm going to put some of our all time, all favorite here. This is Southern Secret. Yeah, it's just a half a pound, folks. I'm not, oh, y'all didn't see none of that. Just trust me. <laughs> I put it in there. Um, oh, yeah. I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm putting in it tonight. And of course, some S and P. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Get it going, get it going good. And I'm, I'm through here, so just take two seconds for me. I've been jumping. I've been doing my chores, Mama. I really have. Been good. And I've got the somebody gonna have to work this camera. I'm just pitiful. I'm pitiful at the whole process here. And onions is going right in there. And Mama's going to bring that up. I'm making, we're making what we call semi-homemade, because I am going to use this Heinz pasta sauce, meat flavor. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. I guess what I'm really going to do is taste this, see what I'm working with, because I really don't know. I'm going to pour about a half a cup of coffee in here. You can tell them that. You can tell them that, she said. Half a cup of coffee. Half a cup of coffee. So about, about four ounces of coffee going in. Not a real half cup. Well, that would be a half cup, but four ounces there. Going in. Mama's over there getting that browned up. And I'm going to open up this here can. I am going to have to get one of them cameras that follows the action. But do you know what a camera would do here if it followed action? I would be seasick because Mom would be spinning around this room. That camera would be trying to find her. I don't think it's a good idea. What do y'all think? Heck, I can't even get a microphone to work up here. You think I'm technologically advanced to do a moving camera? Come on, people. <laughs> know your audience. Now, let's try this. Mama, this really don't need much seasoning. It's packed. Yeah, it's probably not. I mean, I, I thought this was like more like on the lines of... Tomato sauce. There's more on that line. This is this is the real deal. I don't think it needs anything but heat. Hunt's pasta sauce. We usually use the jar stuff, but this is delicious. This is delicious. So when we get ready, we'll go over there and let Mama blend that together. 
When she gets ready, are you ready for us? No, I could. No, no, so ready. No, say we're in Bob. I can't stand a messy counter. I wonder if I had a different mother, if I could stand a mess, or if it just would be, is it in my blood, or is it nature versus nurture? Is it because I'm her son and her blood is in me? Or it's just because I've been beat and told if you don't do it, I'm going to beat the tar out of you. I wonder how much of our existence is nature versus nurture. And no, I wasn't beaten. Much. What is it that you do that you only do because your mama, your daddy, your granny, or somebody do? And is it because it's in our DNA? Or is it because we've seen them do it so much? Now, mama's daddy does stuff, and mama will say to me often, you do that just like Daddy did. Well, I wasn't around him a lot. I was around him, you know, on Sundays and stuff, but it wasn't like I was with him as much as I was with my granny on my daddy's side. Now, I do all kinds of stuff like granny. And I wonder if it's nature or nurture. Granny used to have this thing when we would play a game. I will just show you. It's like, it won't mean nothing to you. It just, we all know Granny is doing it. If she got ready to pick up the dice for aggravation, the board game, if they were laying right here and it was her turn, she would go. <laughs> She'd do this little thing. Twirly thing. Twirly thing. Every time. You'd say, Granny, how can you do that? Oh, do what? Do what? Well, we was playing something a year or two ago, and I picked up the dice, and I went, Mom said, okay, Lena. I said, did I do that? And she said, yeah. I said, I wonder if it's DNA, or I wonder if it's because I've seen her do. I think see. Mama thinks it's because of sin. But I do things like my daddy, and it's unreal. And then sometimes I'll even cough or I'll say something, and I hear him. And it's me. And let me tell you, I probably told you all this. I took a filtered picture of myself um, on Snapchat. It ages you. And when I held that picture up, to Mama, I said, Mama, who's that? She says, that's your dad. It looks a lot, lot like him. I took it to church. I took it behind a camera at church, and his dad's first cousin or third cousin, have you one second cousin. His first cousin's son was there. And I said, uh, who is that? And he says, that's your dad. And I held a little closer. He says, is that you? I said, that's a filter. And he said, you look just like your daddy. I said, I know. They know who you was when you was little. They can look at you and tell you who you are. Isn't that funny? Um, just different things you do. Your arm movements, the way you sleep. I love those pictures where it'll show a dad laying in the bed and it'll show their son right beside them, both of them sound asleep, both of their arms in the exact same pattern. I think that's that's a DNA. You know, you'll see those pictures on Facebook sometimes or taking a nap and both of them will have the same facial features. That's DNA. I love that kind of stuff. But how much do we do because of, of who we're raised with or what we see and how much is in our DNA? I love your cooking. Well, thank you, Jeannie. Hey, John and Mama from South Carolina. Savannah, we love South Carolina. Um, every time I used to go to South Carolina, to the beach, I always wanted to find a place down there and just move. I think, let's just move. But I would miss Tennessee. I'd have to miss Tennessee. So, I don't know, but it's just so pretty down there. And I love North Carolina. We kind of think of North Carolina as, you know, just an extension of Tennessee. I said that to y'all the other day, and it really, it, it does seem that way, because we love... The Carolinas, we love it. It's just a part of our southern tradition. There's not a lot of differences. Maybe a little, maybe they got an accent. I don't know. I know we don't have an accent. 
So when I hear other people, I figure they surely do. <laughs> From Georgia. Hey! Um, who are you? We have Come a back here. Back here. I can't see. Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn, how are you from Georgia? Hey, Shelly. I think there's a chance we do, Mama. Hi, Smyrna, Tennessee. Okay, I bet you don't have accent either. Hi, John and Mama. Blessings. Hey, Margie, how are you? Hello from Canada. Lori, now we do like some Canada. We've been to Canada several times, and we always enjoy it. Mama's been like a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, we love to go to Canada. We like Niagara Falls, of course. Um, on the can, we just seen it on the Canada side, though. Huh? On the Canada side, what we see. Yeah, we see it on the Canada side. I hear that meat starting to. It may be time for us to go into action. No, it's you got coffee You're in it. You're not invited. You're no. not invited. You want a piece of bread or not? I want a half a loaf of bread, yeah, but I'm gonna skip it on. White bread and sugar's your enemy. It's what they say. I don't know. It ain't never been nothing but good to me. It's cold. It's been six degrees out there. You might be interested in Ancestry.com. Maria, I don't know. I found a... I found it fascinating, and I feel you would also. I probably would. I would. Mama would. Is that the one with the leaves? Ancestry.com. What if you dig up something, though, Marie? You just don't wish you'd left it unknown. Hi, John and Mama. Hi. You wouldn't cause it. You just keep finding out. Hi from Beaver Dam, ah. Kentucky. What if I've had brothers and sisters out there? You ain't got brothers and sisters. You don't know, Mama. Yeah, I do know, Mama says, I ain't got no brothers and sisters that I could have. Here, I'm going to give you the spell to give you the spell to The spaghetti thing. Spaghetti thing. It's more tender enough or not. We need to do it some more. It'll cook for a while in there. How long did you have it in there, Mama? Eight minutes. Oh, it's going to be done. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot now. Yes, ma'am. She's, she's telling me. I think it'll be fine. It, it needs to cook a little bit more right now. But I believe in a minute it'll be fine enough for you, Mama. What do you think? As long as it let's give it a minute, and if we have to, it'll just take another minute in the microwave. But let's seal it back up. Get it wrong. It's hot as far. I just took it straight from the microwave. Let's seal it back up and give it a shot. Um, I don't know. I may try Ancestry.com. I always figure I might do that when I retire. I don't know. Mama, you could do it while you're here. Hello from Arkansas. Hey, Pam. My mama was born in Knoxville. Kelly, she's our neighbor. Mama would know if she had more children. <laughs> You're so funny. Mama might know Angela Britt if she had more. But what if Dad had some out there some more? You know, from previous life. Previous life? Before Mama. No. BM, before Mama. Angel so Britt, that sweet pea soup was good. Uh, and it, I think that kicked me off from a soup season. And so now we've had potato soup last night. We've had sweet pea soup. I'm craving good old vegetable soup. Um, and I would love beef vegetable soup. And we got some bar uh, lentils back there. I like to put some lentils in some beef vegetable soup. Uh, I, the other day for lunch, I almost opened up a can of tomatoes because I hadn't had any tomato soup in a while. And I thought that was good. Tomato soup is what I almost opened up. Okay, let's talk for the next two nights. We got business. We've got stuff we got to do. Now, for 
We're doing a big church dinner, raising some money for the church to buy some windows. We're replacing the windows in the church. It's going to be almost $12,000. So the ladies at the church, oh, well, the men too, everybody, but the ladies, they're doing chicken and dumplings. We're, Mom and I are doing dressing and cornbread. So we're going to have to make up tons of cornbread and biscuit bread, pone bread, uh, because we got to have cornbread to take and we got to have cornbread dressing to take. That's a lot of cornbread. So we're going to make Thanksgiving style cornbread and biscuit bread dressing. We just call it cornbread dressing because really that's what most people call it. But we do put biscuit bread in ours. Some people put light bread. Some people put crackers. We put biscuit bread and cornbread together. And so we'll be showing you how we're making it probably tomorrow, Mama? Yeah, we'll have to make it up and bake it. I'll have to bake it Thursday. We're making for around 100. So how, depending on how big your Thanksgiving table is going to be. Um, so that's what we're going to be cooking. We won't be cooking a meal, but we'll be cooking some dressing. So that could be the first of our Thanksgiving dishes that we're wanting to show you. But we've showed you before, but there's some other things. Bring your sauce. Bring your sauce. We've been invited to the party now. Mama has invited us over. Bring your sauce, she said. Did you hear her say that? I'm bringing my sauce, just like she said. All right, Mama, we're here. So that'll be the first. We'll start that tomorrow evening. Can y'all see that kid? It's staying up there. At least you got the light on, Mama. Here you go. I think you turned it on. I did. I was giving you credit, though. You want to dig around in there? You can rinse it out. Yes, ma'am. We don't waste a thing, do we, Mama? We try not to. We really try not to waste. Now, when we rinse a can out, we don't fill it full. We put a little in our slosh it around and it's still good and thick like that. You don't have to put a whole can to rinse Oh, can. Lord, no. That would be pure water. That'd be a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now we just got a boil. Is that enough? That's enough for it. We did so good on the potato soup yesterday, not over making it. So I like a big old pot, though, Mom. Yeah, but then there's a big old pot left to... I know. I like the big pot, but then I don't want the leftovers. Maybe I should go on Ancestry.com and see if I can... Can't stop that. <laughs> see if I can get us some family to come and eat. What do you think about that? Huh? Sounds like pretty good. Sounds like pretty good. Yeah, to meet more people's family. Look in there and smile, Mama. It says, what is it? They don't have to be blood. No, we don't have to be, be blood. We they can be love. We got a lot of family out We there. do. We have love family. It ain't blood family. It's love family. Yeah. Are you about through with that? When it gets hot. Well, it's so hot you couldn't stick your tongue in it now. Well, it's got a boil because that tomato sauce and stuff needs to get boiling before you eat it. Is the chicken done? It should be. It's good a snapping, thing. cracking, and a popping. Well, that's a good sign. That sounds like cereal. Snap, crack, and pop. <laughs> sounds like my knees in the morning, too. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like mine all day long. Let's see if you're going to boil. This is the smallest kettle in the world. Oh, it's not. This is the least amount of spaghetti sauce I guarantee you I've ever made. I have made spaghetti sauce before that took two or three cans of sauce, maybe tomatoes, and it would be in a kettle this big back in the day. It ain't boiling yet. Well, I want it to at least boil. Yes, ma'am. It's going to boil. We're going to watch it till it boils. And 
here. Watch it. It's fixing to start. Shaking. Oh, it's going to splatter on the stove. Up there's the thermometer. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, did you see that? Mama, when it spits all over the place, ain't that bold enough? Huh? I think that was a no. She ain't gonna let us have it. I'm gonna let it boil. Like I've been told. This is really good. This is okay. Well, this I is. I like a, to boil one. Okay. Thank you, Mama. It's been spitting all over us forever over here. We left this over here. We didn't know any, what if we, we was afraid. What? Yeah, it was afraid. What well, was afraid? You'd jump us? Why would I do that? I don't know, Mama. But we, we all knew. We knew better than not to let that bull find things out. Didn't we? Mm -hmm. Now you can fly over with you. Uh, I see. Well, they've been laying over in that pond thing, man. Lucky there. She want me to fly over. And that's over there getting splattered all over. But that sounds like we hadn't seen it. You hadn't seen the chicken. That's right, man. You're right. Mom, what do you want to drink? I've got part of a coke. You've got a... I've been on my way. You've been, you've been drinking a pop all day? Yeah. Well, you've done so good. I like skipping around on it. Sip, sip. You got your spaghetti wand here. No. Yeah. We don't drain our spaghetti. We hold it, up. hold it up and let it run off like that right there. And it don't dry out. Cause we got that butter and that salt and that goodness in there. Now, if you want to drain yours, you drain it. You do you. That'll be the best scenario. Everybody just do what they do. But this works for us. It has a lovely drain on that end that you could use. We just don't. Uh, I was going to show him my last harvest. We have got a surprise for you all. Look what Mama dug up today. I didn't dig it up. I picked it up. You found it out there. Yeah. Folks, these are green tomatoes. And you know what that means? There's coming a day, Lord willing. But these will be red tomatoes. And I may get one last tomato sandwich out of the harvest. <laughs> Look at that beauty. These are all peppers. I've got some turned red, some a little in orange. The rest of them's green. This one's turning red. Let's show them up. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Look at that beautifulness. That's it, folks. Now, that will be it because we've done half frost. But these tomatoes have lasted. But just seeing a green tomato... It's almost like spring again gives me hope for red tomatoes. I'm excited because I know when I send that green tomato, there's a chance that I get. You want this piece of chicken? Yes, ma'am. There's a chance I'm not getting Wait, one. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not a side person like you, Mom. Mom wants everything on the side. Nine times out of ten. Well, I can't hold on to it. So, where's your glasses? Shh. On the side. That's not my fault. Um, but there's a chance that we get another tomato sandwich in the wrong, or a hamburger with a good red tomato on it. Good red tomato. Well, would you fill in my plate? You want Parmesan cheese? Oh, I could go You usually do, won't it? Now, see, I just put mine right over top. 
Just like that. And that chicken is right under there. And for you people who think, you can't drain spaghetti that way. Do you see any water in that plate? No, ma'am. No, sir. All right, Mom, I'm drinking my coffee. You got your Coke. Yeah. Let's bless this beautiful meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of taking this meal. And Lord, thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. Dear Lord, just ask you to nourish our bodies with it. And dear Lord, just want you to be with each and every prayer request that's out there of each and every person. Heal the sick and help the needy, dear Lord, and dry the tears. Dear Lord, we know that only you can do that. Dear Lord, we just pray for Israel. We pray for this whole world, dear Lord. We just pray for all the leaders and all the decisions that are made. That the name your honor, your will, and your glory. Amen. All right, let's, we'll bring you up for a second. I'm going to have to do some tilting. Come up here and we'll talk. Mm -hmm. But then I'll have to bring you down here to read. <laughs> All right, Mama, let's try this beautiful, beautiful Italian feast. See, now this is that Tyson chicken. It's cheating chicken because it... It looks and acts just like Mama's homemade chicken, but it's cheating chicken. It ain't the real deal. It ain't. It's Tyson. Tyson Southern Tenderloin. Buy it at the Dollar General it's in a smaller pack, but we normally buy it at the big store, at the Walmart, and it comes in a big old pack. Let's try it, Mama. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that smoke. Ooh. Look at that smoke. Can y'all see that? You can't really see smoke on a camera or steam or whatever. They <laughs> <laughs> can see it fall. <laughs> you see the steam? <laughs> Mama, you're laughing a lot. <laughs> you ain't trying too hard. <laughs> At least it didn't go on my shirt. And look, I can clean this right up. <laughs> oh, I got too much peas. Huh? Oh, blueberries. You're not going to let me live down dropping down blueberries, are you? Have you ever seen the beat? I'm gonna stab him this time. He ain't getting away again. This counter is as clean as. Mm. Look at that. That's still hot. Even after it took a tumble. I'm not gonna wrap my name with the steam. Oh, mercy. Fixing to get burnt. Mm, that's good. Is yours good, Mom? Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. That's definitely some good eats. Do y'all like spaghetti? What's your favorite way to fix it? Mmm. Do you eat your cheese? Why well, no? I got the life in the kitchen job. <laughs> it's a special environment here, Mom. Mm. Okay, folks. Accidents happen. A lot. <laughs> Let's just be honest. I'm a mess. All right, Mama. You going to add anything tonight? Anything you want to talk about? No. Just stay warm and healthy. Mama's acting like there's a snow on. Well, stay can't... warm. It's down to 56. Oh, it was 51 while ago. It said 56, Mama. 56 degrees. Oh. What she says over there. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say her name or she'll get to chat. No, that was 51 this morning. I oh, well, it could have been this morning, Mama. Mm -hmm. or it wasn't real early, but it was. Let's see what people are saying. I love spaghetti and meatballs or with hamburgers. 
mate. Yes, Melissa, that's what we're having tonight. Hi there. Hey. We had the same thing just last night. Ah, Ellen, did you? We love this. I'm, I'm a mess, Kelly, is what I really am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brenda, how are you? Somebody said Wayne Bordeaux is being back. I'll find him. I love your easy meals since my husband. Aw, Dana, we had your husband pass. Oh, well, Dana, yeah, you know, just, you can cook for one. Sometimes you just have to cook a little extra and, and make two meals. You can freeze one, you can have one for later. Uh, but I always cook, you know, keep cooking. And if you if you want to, you can eat with me and Mama. We eat here about every night. We bless our meal, and then we can bless yours while we're blessing ours. Who's out there? Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Amy. We had spaghetti squash with pasta sauce on it. Ah, oh, Heather, we're good. we're thinking alike. Hi, John and Mama. Good to see you. Well, Linda's good to see you on here too. Spaghetti, one of my favorite meals. Dick's mine too. Pam and Anthony Smith stalking. Anthony Smith? If I see these people, and I will go back. Anthony, those are robots. Just don't reply to them and don't, never link, click any links for them. John Lindbergh needs to be blocked. Charles, we will, we will block. Him if he, he'll pop up here in a minute. Thank you for the stars, Mary Lynn. When I have spaghetti with chicken, I like cheese on it. Ooh, Elizabeth, do tell. You mean like Parmesan cheese? Or do you mean like white cheese? Yeah, white cheese is good. When I have meatballs, I want mozzarella melted on top. Ah, what well, Connie? We're glad to have you. Hamburger on the grill from Minnesota. I love a good hamburger. Hello, John and Mama from West Alabama. Well, hey, Peggy, how you doing? I fix the same dinner. Well, Connie, great minds think alike. I'm making easy mac and cheese. Marsha, that's good too. Mozzarella. Greta, yeah, that's right. Judy Davis is watching. Well, hello, Judy. Watching from Indiana. Hey, Brenda. That may be some of your family. It could be. I had ham, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Mm -hmm. Carol, that sounds good. We've been wanting, we might do a sweet potato soon. Baked. Mama just likes baked sweet potato, nothing with it. Sweet potato casserole with ham. When it comes to baked sweet potatoes, she won't nothing. Butter and brown sugar. Well, I mean butter and brown sugar. She don't want a I meal. Food. She don't want a meal. Um, so tomorrow night we plan on making cornbread dressing. So hang around with us and we'll get that started for Thanksgiving. You can make it. If someone has ever told you you can't make cornbread dressing, like so and so, you don't have to. I'm, we're going to show you how to make it delicious and easy for your whole family. What's the difference between dressing and stuffing? Dressing is served in usually squares or scoops, and stuffing is stuffed yeah. inside of the turkey. That's the difference. It's the same stuff. Um, you now, there's thousands of ways to fix it, and we're going to show you how we fix it. And it's easy. I think we made it not long ago. Yeah. Um, but we're going to fix students how we make it. And we'll be making a big old batch. And you know, we like to cook big. It's just in us. We like to cook big. So we'll get your opportunity to cook big tomorrow night. Big cooking. Folks, Mommy, anything you want to add tonight? No. You were eating good. I was hungry. And I ate lunch today. That's getting bad. What you have today, Mama? Leftover potato soup. Oh, Mama had that potato soup. She ain't big on leftovers, but now she'll eat that potato. I told you that she would. All right, Mama. Say goodbye.
Good night, Mama, and God bless you. Have a wonderful night and day tomorrow. Bye -bye. <laughs> you have a blessed one. Bye.